eyes are burning. Are your eyes burning? My eyes are always burning. <laughs> My father-in-law's offices are getting imploded. He's gonna stop working there soon, but before that, he told us to come to the office and see if there's anything we liked. And on one of the walls, we saw this really cool Japanese print and we brought it home and my mom loved it, but it has a bunch of wormholes. One thing she asked for for Mother's Day was to get this reframed and rematted and we decided to do it ourselves. Maybe you're allergic to the, uh, the incense. She's been going for hours, but it's... It smells it's, very incense-y up here. Yeah. She's trying to smudge us away. We got bad vibes. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I felt that coming. That's Rain's. Because Rain's coming to haunt you. Rain's would be our very disappointed art professor. Probably just feels a disturbance in the force. <laughs> It. We can sand it or something, right? There is no one to stop us. We're not gonna pay to get it reframed. <laughs> we can do it ourselves so easily. <laughs> so professional. Uh -huh. Hooray! A perfect foam core. Backing. You, should, you didn't take the um, ah. ashwagandha tea. Yeah, those ones. No, you're supposed to take the box. They said you're a Pharisee. You're putting a hard burden on me. What's a drink of ashwagandha tea? I can drink caffeine. <laughs> I'm not allergic like you. I was a Pharisee. Okay. I'm trying to help. I her. didn't literally say you were a Pharisee, but I said you put a heavy burden on people without lifting a finger. You guys are mean. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to help. Let's tally how many times Esther pushes ashwagandha. The tricky thing about cutting a mat is that the inside has to be angled. So I found this mat cutter from the 50s. Once I figured out the blade for the mat cutter, I was ready to cut out the outer edges of the mat by using the foam core as my guide so that both would fit snugly into the frame when complete. Meanwhile, Faith cleaned the glass for the frame. Your 30th is going to be a golden sombrero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you Sorry, not golden. Golden birthday. Yeah, I don't know why you said sombrero. Yeah. While I was matting, Esther started planning out her Audrey Helen Weber family portrait. Mommy will be a rabbit. She will be a hare. So I'll be a boar then. You don't have to be. You can pick something else. What animal do you feel best represents you? Mommy's a rabbit because she is a jackrabbit. Very manic. Yeah, then what animal do you want to be? Oh, Gavin gets to be in it too? Not just immediate family? Uh, um, he has immediate family. He married into the family. Oh. Doesn't that count? Sure. I guess, yeah. Faith doesn't like it. Yeah. You hear this? You can't grow up yeah. with us. <laughs> yeah, wow. You don't deserve us. Yeah. Yeah. Things are very smart and angry. Smart and angry. Mm -hmm. And creative. Are they? You can eat humans. Yeah. <laughs> That's creative. Yeah. Is that really what you want? I don't know. That's all I can think of at the moment. Why don't you, like, think? I'm stressing, trying to cut a straight line here. After much deliberation, it was decided that Esther would be a fish, I would be a boar. Faith would be a duck, my dad would be a fisher cat, my mom would be a hare, and Gavin would be a little bear on my shirt that I was wearing in the painting. Like... Every day I wake up. <laughs> 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 have you seen it on TikTok? What? That every day I wake up. <laughs> every day I wake up. <laughs> this is so funny. At this point, I was acquiring a headache from trying to cut straight lines without... The proper tools to do so. I matched up the print one more time to make sure that the mat I cut out was the correct size. I used the mat cutter to cut the inside framing of the mat board but I didn't get any of that on camera because at this point it was like 1 30 a.m. and I forgot. I used the border on the print itself as my guide to create the width for each side of the mat, the top and bottom and the sides. She's like, wah! Yeah, he's like, he's like, Faith right. is like, yeah. Wow, those bottom teeth are... I know, they're, that's why he can kill and eat porcupine. Um, I'm gonna listen to that song. I remember we heard it for the first time on Zoom. <laughs> like, what is this? I don't think it's the same song. It was, because I remember. 
They did a music video for it. Unfortunately, I could not find the Tom Steiner Zoo music video. To complete the family portrait, Esther asked me to help remap out where the Fisher Cat's face would go because when she did it, she was not happy with it. She said Ovaltine, but she meant ashwagandha. And now we come to Mother's Day where we reveal the reframed print. I did, it's good. There you go, see? Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Oh, it's good. Oh, it looks so good, Rosa. Have to... I spent three hours cutting that out. Yeah, oh, it's okay forever. To, I have to. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't have to do it right now. completed portrait of the family and this is its final resting place in the family room after she used it for her class. The red hair in the front symbolizes my mother. The Fisher cat symbolizes my father. I think he's holding a tomato or an apple. The duck is Faith. The boar with the bear on it is me and the bear is Gavin and then the fish in the turtleneck is Esther and that's a decoration. My mother's Japanese friend translated the poem for us, and looking at the matting now, I haven't matted anything since undergrad and it turned out okay. I think our professor Reigns wouldn't be so disappointed after all. Thanks for watching!